I'll make this one kind of you know like to kind of like come in closer to each other maybe one's running the other off the road I'll make this one kind of lean in chest shape right here. Yeah, I think it'd, it'd look cool if that leg was raised up. Okay, so I'm going to got one leg raised up right here. Make this one down lower. Over on the other one, I'm going to do an eagle. That's going to be fun. You know, I've never done a big eagle. This, this whole mural will have a very Native American overtone to it. Uh, not strictly Native American, but a lot of elements that are associated with that. So, because there will be, they have a high percentage of Native American children that will be playing in this room. here. This one's just going to be kind of hidden. This one will just be kind of hidden back here. We'll put another leg back here. That's a leg. This would be a fun picture. I don't like this. Darken this leg. Those back legs. Other horse's head. Maybe this one has one of those stripes. All right, let's not get too carried away now. Just gonna paint over all this. More ears, more mane. You know what I should do is pat this leg higher up. So have that one. I'll do that later. Okay, now a girl. This is going to be a girl right in this one. The foot right there, the knee right there. We'll put this foot kind of flying out. That'll be fun. See, this all just helps me to visualize. It's just a start. Help me visualize where I'll go with the paint. 
picture. I mean, I already did a sketch, so I know what I'm going to go with it. This, this, it's gradually developing the details. The girl's going to be turning her head, looking at this her friend here. Blowing too. Put a little face on it. Boy needs a face too. Yeah. Now when I'm when I'm finished, um, these torches are gonna look like they're tearing through the desert, dust kicking up behind them and everything. But see how, see how just very basic this is. But it gives me a starting point. It gives me some boundaries. You know. And then as I as I progress in the mural. I can, if, if I see other, because I'll reference photographs and look at pictures of horses and really fine-tune the details that way, but I'll have something to compare them with so that I'm not always just working from scratch trying to remember what I saw. If I see that a horse has a longer neck or a broader shoulder or something, I can look at mine and, and adjust it rather than always starting from scratch. And that's how I do it.